in today's video I will be talking about these faux locks so I had them in for about four weeks I think this is week four and I'm finally taking them out so to answer some of your questions that you guys had over on my Instagram I am going to answer them right over here and then remember if you have any other questions to just message me over on Instagram and I respond back or I make a video about it like I'm doing right now the cons of this hair hmm well I would not get this type of hair again because it's just I feel like it got kind of old fast I'm not sure exactly the exact brand but it is the Marley hair and my my sister told me that it seems like it's more so mixed with Kanaka line hair <laughs> because you can when you run your fingers through it you can hear like that plasticky popping sound and it just kind of dreads itself um like sometimes I get like little knots like let's see if I can find one like okay kind of like like this one right here and I just pull it out yeah so sometimes I get a lot of those little knots another con is that this hair is super heavy the first time that you get it done like the first week or so I would say I had a major headache and a lot of people are saying when they get full locks that they do have a headache and I believe that's true <sighs> this is like the first time I had to take a Tylenol uh, because maybe because she double knotted the crochet and I was telling her when she was doing it I was like oh do you have to double knot it and I was like, you know, maybe you can just do it one time and it'll be okay. And she, the girl was like, girl, your hair and this type of crochet, it will slip right out. So if you have more of like a 4A or even like, okay, maybe my hair is between like a 3, 3B, 3C and some parts are 4A, 4B. If you have hair like that, like curly hair, but some parts are straighter or more wavier than others, then maybe you would have to double knot it like twice and that makes it tight which makes you have a headache it's heavy so i know this hair is heavy because i actually gained weight yes with this hair i was on the scale and i was going down i had a weight loss coach and everything and then the next week after i ended with my coach i got my hair done and then the scales immediately shot up so I was not happy about that, but I blamed it on the hair and I cannot wait to take this hair out to see if my weight will go down. Hair is so low maintenance. Like once you get out of the week of your head hurting, this hair is wake up and go hair. Look at this. Because the, I guess the older it looks, it's the better, the fine. Like it looks more natural. So my husband today was like, it's starting to really look like locks and he's like loving it. And I'm like, uh-uh. I'm not used to my hair being like like this. I'm used to like a prim and press type of look, chic, you know, like slick back ponytail if I'm wearing my natural hair, not a hair out of place. But with this, you will see some of the hair, some of your natural hair will come through. Okay, so I guess that would be another con, like this here. Yeah, that's normal, but it makes it look more real. Like you, it look, it makes it look more real. You can even see my braid right here. Okay, but the pro would be that this hair is for low maintenance. Just wake up and go. I'm ready. It is a protective style that you don't really have to worry about. I guess another con would be for the full locks that it could be kind of expensive. I paid 180 for my hair style like this, which is actually cheaper than me getting box braids a while to install because it was one person working on my head and I'm used to two people working on my box braids but I guess that would be a, a con because it takes time but when I left that salon I was laid like I even sat under the dryer she laid my baby hairs and it just looked really really nice you can literally wake up like this that is a pro to this hair you don't have to tie it down if you don't want to because like I said the older it looks the more natural it looks I will say that having this type of hairstyle here in Japan was very different for me um, a lot of people 
who would normally compliment me on my hair once I get it done at the salon. They didn't, they didn't compliment me at all. So I think it was because it's so new and people were probably looking at it like, why would you pay to get fake locks that look like that? Like, why would you pay to for locks pretty much and they just didn't understand but I feel like I wanted to try something new I love that I I can be so versatile with my hair and anyway it's fun it's fun to switch up your hair so that could be a pro too that it's fun to just do something new to see what you would look like I mean a lot of people want to lock up their own natural hair I know for a fact now that I would never do it because I just don't think I could do it <laughs> like I told you guys but wearing it as a faux as a fake lock and yeah I could do that but I don't know if I would ever get this again in the future I think I might just stick to box braids or if I did I would get different type of a different type of Marley hair not the kind that's too shiny either and not this one this style can pretty much go with anything I feel like as soon as I get dressed all I have to do is put my hair down and it just makes anything that I wear look good. So that is definitely a pro to this. I like to flip my hair either to the front like this. Style them. I'm not one to take half up and give myself a wrap around bun. Like I don't do styles like this. Like, no, I just can't do it. Even the other side, I've seen some people say that. I mean, yeah, it's pretty versatile. You can style it however you want to, but I just cannot really see anybody, or just me, maybe because I'm, I'm too basic, right? Um, going out the house like a Bratz doll or TLC, no scrubs. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, I never did that. The only style that I wore was flip over to the right, flip over to the left, and I put it all up in a bun. And I did the put it all up into a bun only if I was cleaning. So let me show you guys what it would look like. Like this is a lot of hair. I don't know how many locks that I don't know how many locks I actually have I would say like maybe a hundred something but I am taking them out today it is time this is the last day on the day before my actual birthday I am wearing the locks so I hope you guys liked this video if you did give it a thumbs up and I'll try to record a little clips of me taking them out I would say 10 out of 10 easiest style ever just that's what I love the most about this I didn't have to think about anything <laughs> like the only thing I had to do was lay my baby hairs down daily um, to make it look like, to make it look a little, a little bit more fresh. But other than that, like as far as spraying it or oiling my scalp, I did that about two times. And then I sprayed it kind of whenever it felt dry, like my actual scalp felt dry or itchy, which it didn't that often actually. So I'm just ready to wash my, my hair and just run my hands through my curls again so thank you guys for thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video I wonder what my hairstyle is going to be next bye guys